The DC Cinematic Universe will be underway soon enough, and it makes sense that they want to expand their roster of heroes as soon as possible. Now, Marvel Studios have been expanding the universe by creating Netflix exclusive shows that introduce more of the characters such as Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and Jessica Jones. But what if DC were to make Netflix exclusive shows as well in order to expand the universe? DC already has some massive shows on the CW as well as other stations, but it will be very interesting to see DC TV shows that will be interconnected with the cinematic universe that started with Man of Steel. So without further ado, here are four superheroes I think will make great Netflix exclusive shows. First off is Guardian. Now Guardian's real name is Jim Harper, a superhero whose basic idea is somewhat similar to Captain America. He is a non-superpowered, shield-using hero who was introduced in 1942. Jim Harper was initially a police officer who lived in the slum area of Metropolis who became a vigilante when he became fed up with how the law handled criminals. The story would involve Jim Harper, a police officer in uh, whichever DC city, I don't know, uh, who has had to come to terms with the fact that he is a clone created by a mysterious organization known as Cadmus. This show would feature Jim trying to clean up his city as Guardian as well as investigate Cadmus and discover his past. Huh? Great story, right? I could help write this. Number two is Superboy, which is Connell or Connor Kent. He is another case of the Cadmus clone. Uh, now, uh, Superboy was a clone hybrid using the DNA of Superman and Lex Luthor. There have been rumors going around that there is a Superboy easter egg in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, as Lex Luthor's lab features several Kryptonian Genesis pods with actual Kryptonian fetuses. In the later Superman movie, it is possible that one of these could become Superboy, so you never know. Up next we got Zatanna Zatara, a magic superheroine who casts spells by speaking backwards verbal commands. She is very popular amongst the vast array of female heroes in the DC Universe. I think a Zatanna based TV show could delve the DC Cinematic Universe into magic territory, which could help introduce characters such as Doctor Fate, uh, Sandman, Constantine, and maybe even the Justice League Dark, you never know. Now last but not least, we got the Blue Beetle, yeah. There have been several incarnations of this character, and my idea for a Blue Beetle show would incorporate all three of them. Now check this out. The three Blue Beetles are Daniel Garrett, uh, Ted Kord, and Jaime Reyes. Jaime Reyes will be the main protagonist of the series. Jaime Reyes is a Mexican-American teenager from El Paso who is attached to the mysterious scarab that gives him his powers. Now, the scarab was initially attached to Dan Garrett, who discovered it in an Egyptian pyramid. Now, this scarab is actually from an alien species known as a Reach, which is the primary antagonist of the second season of Young Justice. The series would feature Ted Kord and Dan Garrett as scientists trying to help Jaime Reyes with his newfound abilities. The series would also introduce the Reach, who will eventually travel to Earth in search for the scarab. This will eventually lead into a Justice League movie involving the invasion of the Reach. Huh? How about that? What do you think of my choices for DC Netflix shows? Do you think they properly fit into the DCU? Sound off in the comments below.